Before you do any kind of stretches, you always want to make sure that you warm up. So we are going to warm up your calves and we're going to start off with some calf raises. So you can get your feet together and basically you're just lifting your heels up off the ground. You can hold on to something if you would like, if you have balance issues, um, absolutely hold on to something. So we're just, again, warming up those calf muscles, nothing too crazy. The next thing we're going to do is you're going to lift up your toes. So you can do single foot if you'd like. Um, or you can do both feet. Just got to be careful if you do both feet that you're actually lifting with your shins and you're not kind of sitting back. So just alternate with your feet. The next thing you can do are kind of just light bounces in place or if you're, you know, start with the bounces in place and then you can jump a little bit more, get those shins working. Again, we're not doing crazy jumps. You're just kind of jumping and clearing the floor just a little bit. The next exercise, you're going to extend your leg out in front of you and you're going to toe tap. So this one's really working that shin muscle because you're pulling up those feet nice and hard. So toe taps, you can do about 15 on each leg and then go ahead and switch. When you're doing the toe tap, make sure that your hands are on your bent leg and not on the straight leg because a lot of times people push on that straight leg and you're getting some additional pressure on the knee. So just keep your hands on your bent knee or you can even put them on your hips, whatever you're comfortable with. This is probably one of my favorite stretches to do for your calves. If you have a box step, you can use that, or you can use a stair that is in your house. So you're gonna step up on that stair. If you have stairs, go ahead and hold on to something, but you're just dropping that heel down and getting a nice, good stretch. Do one leg at a time. You can do two, but I feel like you get a better stretch if you're doing one leg at a time, and then switch. So ideally, whenever you're stretching, you want to hold a minimum of 30 seconds. You can hold up to a minute or even longer, but I would really stay with the minimum as 30 seconds. So with your calves, if you're not familiar with the anatomy of your calves, there are two muscles, which we generally see on the calf, and they are your gastroc muscles, okay? Those are the calf muscles that you will visually see when you look at somebody's calf. So in order to stretch them, you want to have a straight leg. Now there's another muscle that runs up between the gastrox and that is called the soleus. And in order to stretch that muscle, you need to bend your knee. So as you go into the straight leg stretch for your gastrox or your calf muscles, then you're going to bend your knee a little bit and that's going to hit that muscle underneath called the soleus. And that is going to stretch that muscle out. Again, hold for 30 seconds minimum and then switch legs. So I have my assistant here helping me with my stretch. So this next stretch brings back fond memories of being a ballet dancer. We used to do this stretch a lot. Um, so you're going to sit and what I want you to do is stick your feet out in front of you and I want you to point your feet so your feet are pointing this way, not flexed, they're pointing. And what you're going to do is you're just going to gently push down on the metatarsal of your foot. You will feel it up the leg. You might feel it in your ankle too. Depends on your flexibility in your ankles, but just keep working at it and you, again, will feel the stretch through your leg. The next stretch that we're gonna do will also stretch out the front of your shins. It can be a little bit intense, so again, use your discretion on how you approach this exercise. So I like to have the mat folded up a little bit so it gives me a little extra cushion. I'm gonna place my feet on the mat and I'm gonna sit down on my heels. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up the front knee and leave my foot on the floor. So I'm getting a stretch. Make sure you're not sitting with your feet tucked. That's a different, that's a totally different stretch. It's an awesome stretch. So point your feet and you're gonna bring one leg up, hold for 30 seconds. Again, you should feel that stretch in the front and then switch legs and do the other side. Make sure that if, you, if you're having knee issues with this one, um, you can either put a towel underneath of your tush or another mat just to raise you up and to take that pressure off the knees. Um, if it's really bothering you, just skip it entirely and go back to the one that we just did.